What's up everyone, Zach from Finance Bro here, and today we're gonna to be going over three stocks that you should be watching throughout the rest of this week. Let's get into the video. Uh, so here we are um, over here on trading view. Now we're going to be going over kind of what I'm thinking for this week in terms of trading. Uh, last week, we actually did go with a ton of puts, uh, pretty much only starting to, started to get into calls on the last day. Um, but if you guys want to see how we did last week, here's a trading recap. I won't go over all this because I went over in my last video on my on monday but it was 21,000, uh or sorry tw 2000 i wish 2100 percent in gains uh for the week 39 percent in losses uh so that's about where we're at um that was one of our best weeks that we've had this year and we're looking to do that again this week um we're actually taking a bit of a different approach to this week and something cool about us uh, releasing this video on Wednesday is you're going to be able to fact, just fact check us a bit. So if you're watching this video Wednesday, obviously there has been price action since then. Uh, you're going to be able to see whether I was right on you know what I'm predicting for this week. Um, and if it stays the course, these are going to be three different stocks that you should be able to take today. Um, you know per uh, how I think this week is going to go. So. Um, yeah, let's get right into it. So, uh, or actually before that, I do want to mention guys, you guys can follow along in our discord. Uh, it's a stock options discord. All you have to do is click this link right here, join a 17,000 member discord and growing. And then also if you want to get our premium buy and sell alert, so you can trade right along with us. Um, you can go ahead and get our premium monthly membership or premium yearly membership, um, on this page. It'll be within the discord itself. And then also with the link in the description. So just wanted to mention that by the way, what do I think is going to happen? this week so last week we went a lot with a lot of puts so we started on monday with puts so we didn't have the best day uh best monday uh but then uh stuck to it uh took a lot of puts on tuesday wednesday and as you can see here went from about 555 all the way down to 541 uh we were cashing in on all, basically all of our plays and that's how we were able to do so well for the week uh but i think we've stabilized now uh we had a uh, rsi hit 18 on the 15 minute charts um, and it looks like we have a bit of a floor here at 537 uh, and we've even entered our uh, EMA lines right here and the RSI is sitting still at 50 so there's a lot of room for this to gap up to its uh, previous resistance here at about 556 so I'm thinking calls for the most part this week and th these are the three stocks that I think um, are going to be the best so the reason I want to go with Tesla here obviously earnings didn't go awesome because they missed by 15% and then obviously beat by 3% on revenue but overall guidance on Tesla is very solid um, and it going from five, uh, 253 after having a pretty solid run up um, and then coming back down to these levels is a great great time uh, to be buying and it looks like we have stabilized here above the $211 level and uh, same thing as before uh, hit our bottom on our RSI and the uh, RSI is sitting at about 50 um, and we have a lot of room to gap up all the way to 245 so this is going to be a massive player this week I think Tesla's is going to do great and you're going to be able to fact check me considering this is coming out on Wednesday if it is above 225 to 230 um, I would definitely still be very bullish on Tesla for the week on calls um, so that's something that you could, guys can play off possibly today tomorrow or even Friday next up we are going to have uh, Pepsi uh, so Pepsi is a bit of a different play it's been doing very solid for a long time here uh, earnings was uh, a pleasant uh, surprise with the 5% beat and uh, basically on on target with their revenue uh, only missing by about 0.4 um, they've gone from about 162 all the way up to 172 and we're about to break a resistance here at 172 um, so we're above our EMA line still no signs of slowing down and our RSI is still at a, a very solid 55 level I would like to see this RSI so I get all the way up to above 75 before I would consider, uh, you know, switching our trends after entering back into our EMA lines. Uh, so this is something to keep an eye on. You know, if it does enter the EMA lines and the RSI starts dipping, the MACD crosses over on that indicator as well. Maybe don't be taking Pepsi. Uh, but if we're still in that 60 to 70 range on the RSI above our EMA lines, this is something we can continually take calls on. And you might see me do that early this week in our Discord. Um, and then finally, we are going to have AMD, or sorry, not AMD. Uh, it is going to be, 
uh, what was it? UPS. There we go. Uh, so UPS, the reason we're taking this, obviously terrible uh, beat on earnings and revenue. Um, however, it is tanked from 145 all the way down to 125. And we have stabilized well here above 125. Um, now the RSI is still trending down. So I want to see this trend back up. And then I want to see us get all the way to this EMA line uh, at the $130 level. If we are above $130 on UPS, um, you know, midweek on Wednesday, uh, and I would love to load up on a few um, contracts that are about a week um, or more out um, and just absolutely bank uh, off of UPS making a big uh, run up at least to the 134 to 136 dollar level and that's about what I'm looking at um, for UPS uh, so those are going to be the three different stocks we have UPS we have Pepsi and then we have Tesla that I'm looking at this week let me know if you guys have any other stocks in the comment section below uh, and then also make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe and go ahead and join our discord with the link in our description I'll see you in the next one